Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, summer school. It's a bit different, but it's going to be good. Uh, I am Mr. Manzanetti. I'm going to be your summer school teacher for um, world history. This is the first semester of world history, the first term. So um, we'll be here making up some credits that uh, we're all interested in getting and making sure that that goes well. Um, you and I might not be interfacing that much. I will be here if you have any questions, but as you're about to see, a lot of this course is going to be handled through um, our digital learning platform called Edgenuity. And that program is going to take you through a lot of the learning and quizzes and tests. I'll be there for any clarification if you need help with the program or have any other questions. Uh, but our course is going to be largely self paced. Uh, I hope okay. all of you are doing well. I know uh, I've actually uh, met a couple of you before in person. That's uh, nice that we're reunited. And for the people who I haven't met yet, I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful time. And I hope all of you are doing well. So we're just going to go through our syllabus real quick, go over a couple of things, make sure you know how to get going, and um, have a great time together. So uh, here we go. Sorry. OK. So here's our syllabus. Um, you're going to get a copy of this. You need to read it. Make sure that your um, you know, people at home read it, your parents, your guardians. Um, and uh, there will be kind of a confirmation uh, survey quiz thing. Really simple, like six or seven questions, yes, no answers. Um, they should all be yes answers. So if uh, you're taking it and you realize, oh, I would have to answer no for this, that's really a sign. You know what? Just take a pause go do whatever it is, you know, have your people read it, you go finish reading it, whatever it is, and then um, go on from there. We'll see that at the end of this video. So we do have um, these blue parts are all links. So you can click on these links and they should take you to some help pages. Of course, you can also email me through student view, um, you know, Synergy, um, and I will be responding to that and we'll get to, you know, that kind of communication at the end of this so I'll be happy to help you but we do have these first basic things that might be able to kind of help you along before you even get to uh, emailing me uh, you have this uh, username and password set up for you you will be prompted to or I think you're gonna be asked to by the program if you're not do it on your own change your password that way it's your own it's unique you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff um, and the first time you log in there's gonna be a couple demo videos and it's gonna go over the program itself because Edgenuity, our program, is going to, is a completely online learning program. There are videos, there are readings, there are little mini drag activities you have to do. Um, and then there are quizzes, tests, and even pretests for our units. Um, so if you remember some stuff, you took the class and you remembered part of it or you did really well on this unit, um, you know, no big deal. You can do really well on that part, and then you're gonna have to do less of that unit. Um, and that way you can focus just on the parts you didn't do as well on. Um, or, and if that's most of the course, great, do most of the course. It's self-paced, so you should be able to move through it as fast as you want. Um, this kind of, the coursework goes over the, a lot of things I was just saying. Um, I do recommend there is an e-notes function. Uh, although writing physical notes has been proven better for your memory and for your comprehension, if you use the e-notes, uh, you'll be able to use them on the test. Um, you can use your written notes on the test um, as well, but um, you do have this option to use the e-notes um, on the test. Um, and if we start seeing some um, tests that you're having real difficulty with, you're not able to pass them, uh, you might be required to take some e-notes, type in some notes onto the program, and the program lets you pull that up on the uh, screen at the same time as your test, as your quiz. Um, and if you have struggled with some tests or quizzes, I may require you to, hey, before we unlock this, so you can retake it again, so you can get that passing score, go back, add on to your notes. I'll check your notes if you're not doing well. And then um, we can talk about that before we go on. And that leads us right into our assessments. We have quizzes and we have tests. Um, you are um, allowed to use eNotes, but you can't use other outside resources. So of course, you know, no other websites or anything like that. 
Um, you have to score at least a 70% to pass on um, our assessments. Um, the quizzes lock after 70% and that means I, the teacher, have to unlock them for you. That's one, gonna be one of my main functions and one of the main prompts for us to interact. Of course, if you have questions, you're welcome to contact me and I'll be happy to do what I can to clear things up and provide that additional learning, um, that additional instruction. But um, if you notice that something's locked up, um, I'll see it on my end, but you can also send me an email if it takes me more than a minute to notice it. Maybe I'm doing something else, uh, you know, emailing a student or setting something up for our class. And so um, you can always send me that email just, you know, by the way, can you unlock my um, quiz? And that will give me that extra um, alert to go back and make sure that's unlocked. And that may be the start of our communication where I say, hey, I noticed you didn't pass it the first couple times maybe go back, uh, add some notes on before you do that. And that's one thing you can do if you notice it's getting locked and you need my unlock. You know, once you send me that email, you can, or even before you send me that email, you can go back and start adding on some of those notes, some of those e-notes. And that's where the e-notes are really useful is because then you can just take that screenshot and show, share it with me. Or I can even go into your actual profile on Edgenuity and see that if they're handwritten notes, I can't do that as easily. You know, there are things you can do. You can take a picture and email it to me that way. I know, okay, this student was taking the notes. They've gone back, done that extra review. I'm ready to unlock that test or that quiz form so they can retake it again. Um, but um, when it does come to that unlock part, um, if it's because you've failed it a couple times already, you haven't gotten that pass yet, the notes may be required at that point. Um, if you would like to take your test on Zoom, you're welcome to do so. Um, that is totally an option. I know that that may kind of not work for some of you and you can read the requirements and, re and recommendations on the syllabus um, or it may be you know, kind of weird for your situation. That's totally fine. It is optional, um, but please take a look at that part of the syllabus in case that's something you would like to do. Um, we do have rules about cheating and um, please make sure you're going over those. I'm sure we won't have any issues uh, in this class, but um, in the case that there is some uh, cheating going on, uh, you will receive a zero for any assignments that uh, were um, not your own. So please be aware of that. Um, as we wrap up, a couple more things. One thing you're probably gonna wanna know, if you finish our class early, you're done with summer school early. You don't have to do anything else. Um, our, uh, the Edgenuity, the program estimates our class should take about 38 hours. So if you work like all day for like a week or two, you might be done in a week or two and not have any more summer school. Or if you do a really good job on some of your pretests because you remember that part of the class and you know you remember that information from when you took it the first time, it that 38 hours might even be less, right? It might even be you know 30 hours or 25 hours, and then you can just focus on the parts you you know need to relearn or you didn't learn um, as well as we wanted the first time, and that would be wonderful. You don't have to be in summer school for the whole time if you finish early. Um, that said, if you need the full six weeks, you have it. I'll be there supporting you, giving you any um, you know, tips or instruction or technological support that I can do um, throughout that entire time. Uh, since everyone already has student view uh, synergy, uh, we're gonna be using that as our main method of communication. Don't wanna make things any more complicated than they already are. I'll be checking that regularly um, during normal school hours. Um, and um, if you wanna work over the weekend, you might need something unlocked over the weekend, that's totally fine. Again, another way to get done with this class early, that'd be great. I know it seems kind of lame to you know, be you know, doing schoolwork on a Saturday or on a Sunday, and it's not the most fun thing, I'll, I'll admit to that, but if you have to do that once or twice, so instead of having a six-week summer school, you have a 10-day summer school, that's totally worth it, at least in my mind. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, let me know on Friday, send me that email on student view and um, I will know, oh, hey, you know, Susie's going to try to work ahead on, on the weekend. I'm going to check in a little bit on the weekend. She says she's going to try to do some work on Saturday. I'll make sure 
if I can, I'll check in on Saturday and uh, unlock things that may need to be unlocked or you know, give that help or whatever. So um, normally, I'll be doing normal school hours during the day. Um, you can log in whenever you want. It's just if you want that communication with me, that unlocking, that is the main time I'm gonna be doing it. Um, so just be aware of that. Last thing, in addition to the, uh, the email with this link and the, the syllabus link, um, you will also see a summer school confirmation form. Like I said, it's just six, you know, six or seven, I forget exactly how many, pretty short yes or no questions. You know, did you read it? Do your parents read it? You know, do you know that you have to use student view to communicate? Basic stuff. Um, but that is important to get that back to me. That way we have that agreement, we have that understanding, and I will be following up if I don't see those questions coming back to me. So, uh, you know, please make sure you just take, like I said, two or three minutes to get that in and uh, we'll be going on from there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me, use that student view email. And um, not only for our syllabus, but anything else throughout our class. And I will, I'm looking forward to a great few weeks together. Um, and hopefully, especially if you're working ahead, it is just a few weeks and it doesn't have to be the whole time unless you feel you need it. And in that case, take as long as you need. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing well. And I look forward to a great term together. Thank you very much.